Hey there, what's up guys, Minish Cap 1, guys, girls, and NBs, Minish Cap 1 here, <laughs> doing some more top lane stage gameplay. Um, I had a game earlier, off stream, that I played on my, um, uh, Trindamir. I played on my, um, 400 LP Grandmaster account, and I ran Flate Footwork versus a Rumble top lane, and it actually felt really good. Um, I played a bit carelessly and he solo killed me early, but like, I still managed to get, um, I gotta kite this out a little bit. Ooh. Uh, he didn't level his Q. <laughs> he leveled W. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, fleet footwork, dude. The kiting there, insane. Um, I Like I was saying, I played on a 400 LP, on my 400 LP Grandmaster account. Played a fleet footwork game versus a top lane run. Well, he solo killed me once and he could never touch me for the rest of the game after I bought AP. Because the amount of healing that I was getting from Fleet Footwork was, like, honestly kind of crazy. Um, to, uh, I guess to put it in perspective, this rune did get nerfed down from 30% AP down to 20%. Um, but the benefit of the rune always was that it made Singe's laning phase early on, like, a good amount easier. And then it also, like... Excuse me, I'm hiccuping. It also, um... helped enable your proxy once you hit level 6, right? Now, you can obviously proxy before 6, but it is quite dangerous. And then, the thing about fleet is once you actually hit the 6, it becomes a lot easier with fleet, because you just, like, you just maintain the health, you kite the minions, you can kite the enemy champion when they come to try and fight you, you can you can just heal off of them, kite away with movement speed, like, it is surprisingly very useful, I would say. Uh, this guy is probably dead here for that. Nice, yeah. But, um, it, it, it just, like, helps keep your early game really safe. And I, I thought about if, like, for example, say I played versus a champion like Jace or something, right? Here, we'll use Fleet Forward just to sustain up. But I, I thought, well, what if I played versus a champion like uh, Jace or something? Well, couldn't I not just Fleet Forward with, like, a Biscuits and Time Warp or something and not even need to go Nimbus Celerity second, right? And then, wait, he just saw you. Uh, uh okay. Um, but I was thinking, could I not just do that and not even need to, like, have to go Nimbus Celerity and just, like, sustain Lord, right? <laughs> oh, man, he's pissed. And Rumble wants me. I don't think you're killing me, bro. Yeah, you just want a Dark Harvest stack, whatever, that's fine. Oh, he might go for me still. He's losing his top side, though, because Rumble is trying to mess with me. Yeah, sorry, I, I have a hard time finishing the story because there's a lot of action going on. But um, I thought to myself, well, what if I just played this setup with, uh, you know, Biscuit Time Warp if I had to versus, like, a hard-ranged uh, opponent, right? Totally possible. Then versus the melees, I could either do Nimbus, Nimbus Celerity, or like even go Resolve second, depending on what I needed, right? Go, we'll go Boots and into Rylai's components, I think. Nice, Riven, nice. And that did, that did honestly, like, it, it sort of sounded really good, because the benefit of Fleet is that it just, it, it makes your early a little bit easier, right? And then the biggest problem with Singe and Hyelo is always like, well, you're just gonna lose early game really hard, and then you come out of the laning phase like almost always behind. But with Fleet, it helps a lot because you can absorb more EXP, get a little bit more gold, I'm gonna fling this one the last hit, get a little bit more gold, which helps a lot. Then you get like little bits of clutch healing here and there, which helps you quite a bit. We'll auto tower here. I thought he would chase me a little bit for autos there, but he didn't. Ooh. What the fuck? Oh, I should have ignited him, I didn't think. I think Ribbon can kill. 
Very nice, very nice. <laughs> she might be able to just pop ult and kill him, I'm not sure. Nah, maybe not worth it. Ooh, clean! Let's go, man, let's go. Not bad, not bad. Well played. Damn, Trin does a lot of damage even being like a level down on me. So I got to thinking, right? I got to thinking. Maybe even with the nerf, Fleet is not quite as bad as, as you know, I initially thought. And there are some people talking about it in my Discord as well. And it was sort of like the same the same train of thought that I had. Where basically they were thinking, well, honestly, it really might not be that bad. Even like they're the nerf and everything, because what it offers Singe in the early game is just really helpful for a champion like Singe that does tend to struggle. It went so fast with the uh, fleet right there. And because Singe is a champion that just like naturally takes like... Oh shit, I'll be dead here. I perish! Rip. Uh, he's just a champion that just, like, your farming pattern causes you to naturally take damage, like, inside of the waves and stuff. That was, that was a greedy prox. I mean, all it was then I shouldn't have gone for that. But your farming pattern causes you to naturally take damage inside of the minion wave. And sometimes you can't really afford to go Ravenous Hunter to, like, help deal with that. So what ends up happening is that Fleet Footwork feels like this very nice niche for Singe where I need sustain, but I can't, I can't go into Domination Tree to get it, right? And I have the benefit of having the, the Tenacity Minor runes. Sorry, the uh, Precision Minor runes. Legend Tenacity being the big one. Triumph as well, really nice. What if I can just fight this guy? I have Rhylize now. And it just helps your early game a lot. Even versus like the really skilled opponents that I was playing versus on that uh, on my 198 account, the 400 LP account, I was like, wow, I was surprised at how helpful it was. I even just clutched apparently on one health. Very nice. <laughs> That's a lot of damage on you, trend. I believe he dies for that one. Yeah, he does. He lived. Oh, I got him. Okay. Nah, you ain't getting me though, Rumble. <laughs> you like the fleet forward healing on the wave there? Oh, and the triumph? Yeah, it adds up, right? It definitely adds up. The fleet actually helped me live there, which is awesome. And the, it actually scales very well, too. I'm talking a lot about the early game benefits of it, but it does scale quite a bit. After you have a little bit of AP under your belt, you really notice the uh, the zaps giving you a lot of health off this. So he knows I'm here. I'm going to go ahead and back. Going for these, the, these top camps is super greedy. With no ult or nothing, so... See, do I go Tabby? I don't even know what boots I want here. Probably just go uh, Rocket Belt, right? For my Mythic. I'll wait the 10 gold for Amp Temp. Rift Maker is really good at this as well if you if you prefer that, but I think Rocket Belt tends to be the slightly superior Mythic on Singed, like in most situations. Because I don't know if the Omni Vamp is worth it, honestly. At least not with this setup, right? Not with the fleet setup. In a different setup, sure, the Omni Vamp is really good, but... Oh, 
Shut down. <laughs> Ooh, that chunky chunk. His ult is up for sure. Sorry, Dad, I can dive him, but. Can definitely poke him, make him use his Q. Heal up some more with Fleet. Yeah, you can tell now that I have AP. The healing is getting chunky. Healing me for 73 right now with my ultimate up. And 73 health every single time that I proc it, like that, that adds up really fast, man. Actually forced the training room out of lane there because I had more sustain than him. <laughs> and probably take his wolf camp here. Oh, not out. Oh, she got the shield? Nice. See ya, Jace. Aw, oh, rip, she died for it. That's okay. Pop my potions in case Jace comes for me. I want this blue buff, though. Or in case that train comes for me, sorry. Did Jace's line just killed. Games are hard. So like normally with other runes, I wouldn't be able to do this, do this camp right here. Ah, oh, my poison was off rip. I think I'm just gonna run. Why did I turn poison off there? That's unfortunate. He might still dive for me here. I'm not sure. He ghosted as well there, so I guess there was a ward. My bad on that one. I just mechanically messed up farming. I'm not used to being able to take it. <laughs> Alright, we'll go uh, probably Morello with this Amp Tome that I bought. Ooh. Run, Ezreal. Oh, it's a rip. I think I can just fight this guy, actually. If he even thinks about going for my uh, power, I'm pretty sure I can just fight him. Let's see if I can debate him into it. Nah, no, he's not gonna go for it. That's okay. An enemy has been slain. So I'm getting almost 90 healing per fleet proc right now, which is awesome. Like that little bit of damage that I just took from those minions, I don't have to even use my potion charge for it. Because normally with Singe, when it gets to this point in the game, you have to use like a potion charge every wave and a half that you farm. It's kind of fast, huh? But with this, I don't, I don't need to do that. I can just save my potions for actual fights or for mana, you know, like most champions. Whenever I can just kill this Jace. They definitely know I'm coming. The trend had a ward. Okay, goodbye. We can dive this dude too. Oh my. But the fleet proc, but the healing. Let's go top here and defend that. Ah, oh, that cog is getting fed. This is gonna be 
Might have a bit of a game on our hands, guys. Hmm. Let's go for Morello here. I can just buy the full thing. Wow, I'm actually really farmed up and fed. What's my fleet gonna heal me for? Without my ultimate? 106, so. Or sorry, 96. With ultimate, it'll be over, over 100 health healed on each fleet proc, which will be nice. Not to mention the movement speed that I got from this does help me, like, not having boots early on. I would still recommend going boots early on, but it's not completely 100% mandatory with this setup. Because, again, you just get movement speed, right? I don't think you beat me, Chief. I don't think you beat me either, Chief. And now begins the healing. I think I got 110 healing with my uh, ultimate up there. I don't think you beat me either, Chief. Holy shit, man. Time to keep sustain lording. And you can see how much the fleet's healing me for down there in the corner too, right? Like you, like I like I said, it adds up really fast as you get more AP. It really comes in handy. So I think potentially Gathering Storm would have really good synergy with this, actually. If you're running Sorcery second. Like Gathering would be nice. Try and steal this blue buff again. Round two, let's go. And we make it out this time. With the buff. Very nice. He's he's looking for his camps. Where'd they go? <laughs> I took them all, you fool. Was Riven doing Herald should be fine. <laughs> oh, I'm way too deep. I'm way too deep. Holy shit. That's on me. That's my bad. I was way, way, way too deep. Get the eye, get the eyeball. Ah, oh, they can't get it ripped. It's not worth dying over it. Holy crap, I saw I was in there. All right, we'll go, Um, I guess Merc Treads, I don't know. Did she get it? She did not get it ripped, that's okay. We'll go Dragon here. I also died with 3,000 gold in my inventory, so yeah, that probably was a little unfortunate. Could just go Void Staff. I'll go Mercs, maybe go for Death. Death Cap? Let's see. We'll go Decap. Whatever. Decap for the immense healing procs on this. Fleet footwork, AP scaling. So Fleet without my ultimate now, 80, 90, 100, 110, 100, 127 non ulted. That's, that's, that's huge. So with ult, which gives me 60 AP at level 2 ultimate. That's gonna get up there. Can't even use it to like 1v1 the Kog'Maw, probably. <laughs> and to think the fleet was actually stronger before, too. Guard. 
Where are you going? Give me that fleet proc. Oh no, they killed me! The J sniped me, man. Wait. <laughs> oh, he tried to do a camp, I guess, and died. The J's rip. I got my death cap now. Alright, non ulted, it's gonna heal me for 157. Holy crap, man. So, like, a clutch fleet proc at the right time. I got ignited that fight, so I actually had reduced healing, but a clutch fleet proc at the right time can just, like, turn a fight. Not even counting if I get two or three of them, right? Which I probably will, because you run so fast in team fights, you start stacking it up very quickly. You probably get Baron, honestly. Probably just force at any point. I have the cap, so. The death cap. Death cap one. Ribbon, you're taking some damage, my friend. Nice. Go and farm this top out. I have 571 AP with the Baron up. So with the Baron up, my fleet heal is 164. <laughs> Builds where you can sell your potion when you don't need it are so nice. But then again, sometimes you feel like you just need the potion for mana more than anything else. Even with sustained builds, like, mana becomes such an issue. It's a bit of a chunky flank. So Trainamir will just die. Goodbye. The fleet healing, though, man. Ah! The tower... We're good, we're good, we're good. He's gonna try and snipe me here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back off. Get this blue buff. The heals, the heals, the heals, man. Like a Wormogs or a demonic last or something, we'll see. I really doubt the game lasts that long, I think we're just about to end the game, but. Very fun. But yeah, I, I played this game, or I, I played the other game that I was talking about at like 400 LP Grandmaster, and I just like. It was kind of the same like this. I had I had 4,000 healing in that game, I had 5,000 healing in this one, like. Off of Leaf will work. It, it really does does do a lot for you. I'm talking about the, tri the Triumph, I actually have, um. 1900 health healed off of that as well. That is the thing. I guess we just go in. GG. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Yeah, I, I played, I've, I've been enjoying Fleet a little bit on the uh, high and low count, but just experimenting still, seeing what's good, seeing what's bad. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Have a good day.